Hello, I'd like to welcome you to today's edition of A Treasury of Daily Prayer. Uh, before we begin our devotion for today, just want to cover a little bit of, of information. Uh, much of this is repeated, but uh, uh, getting it out nonetheless. Um, just a reminder that uh, Pastor John Girock returned to the call to Trinity and Winter. Uh, so far, the leadership in the district president has decided at this time to um, pursue um, discussing some parish realignment. Um, parish realignment would involve um, would involve talking about uh, possibly pairing up Zion and Trinity in winter, um, and then repairing possibly possibly uh, repairing. Uh, uh, St. John's in Brewster um, with another neighboring congregation up this way, uh, um, Zion's and Mission. Um, that, uh, but again, these are things that are are, are being discussed um, and uh, and look to see if they're feasible. And so uh, there will be more information on that coming in the following weeks and so forth. Uh, this won't be a quick process. Um, but we want to make sure that uh, everything is done for, for the good of all the churches and for the good of the kingdom at large. Um, also, uh, our leadership, I plan on meeting with our leadership from our congregations next week. I'm going to try to meet with the leadership at Zion and Coloma at 730 on Tuesday evening next week. I'm going to meet with the leadership at Trinity and Winter at uh, 7 o'clock next Wednesday. Um, and then, God willing, be able to meet with the leadership at St. John's and Brewster next uh, Thursday um, around 6 or 7 p.m. That time is yet to be determined. Um, purpose for those meetings is just trying to scope out and plan um, what we're going to do during this time of pandemic in the month of May. Um, I do have some plans of, as the weather gets nicer, trying to conduct worship in our respective church parking lots using public address system, and hopefully um, to be able to distribute the sacrament safely um, in that situation as well. And so we'll keep you apprised of those situations as well. Um, don't forget uh, our live stream service on Sundays. Uh, though they're at they're at seven or they're at ten thirty a.m. I'm sorry, ten thirty a.m. Uh, we will. Uh, you can find those uh, 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 live streamed on YouTube channel Cologne Zion, um, and then also planning on after our live stream service at about eleven forty five on Sunday. Um, we'll be having group Bible study, um, and that'll be done on the Zoom platform. If you look on uh, the Zion Lutheran and the St. John's Lutheran Church Facebook pages, you will find the link that you can click to join that Bible study on Sunday. Uh, last week, we had uh, uh, somewhere between 8 and 10 participate in that. Uh, a lot of fun. It worked a lot better than I thought. Um, our topic of study for Sunday is uh, is discussing and uh, and looking at ways that different Christians uh, have looked to reach out with acts of love during this time of pandemic, and you might find that interesting. And so uh, that is all of our information so far. Um, we will begin with today's devotion once again. Feel free to share these devotions um, with your friends and even unchurched friends. Things are getting worse before they get better. People are suffering. There have been loss of lives. There have been many in the hospital. In some parts of the world, people who need care haven't been able to receive it. We continue to pray that God would bring a speedy end to this crisis and that he stop this pandemic dead in its tracks. And as we pray for a quick end, we also take the time to be reminded that there is something far better than this world waiting for us. Paul writes to the Romans, 
I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. As we continue to serve our Lord in this world and pray for all those who are affected by this pandemic, we also know in our hearts that there is a better home where we will live in glory forever and ever. Keep your eyes fixed on that heavenly home. What a joy that will be to leave all suffering behind and live with our Lord forever. Let's bow our heads in prayer. Dear Lord, you tell us that there will always be suffering in this sinful world. Hear our prayer and bring a swift end to this pandemic. Help us to look forward to the glory that will be ours in heaven with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, try to enjoy the outdoors uh, distance safely. Um, and also, uh, God willing, uh, you'll be able to participate with us in our live stream service on Sunday. Um, and uh, join us again as we resume our Treasury of Daily Prayer um, this coming Monday. Have a wonderful weekend.